we go from Denver. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here come the Bengals now to take over. Now leading them out, a third-year pro who got his first career starts last season. He's royalty down at the University of Texas. Sam Ellinger. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And they go play action. Now Allinger. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Allinger to throw. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a third-year pro and third overall pick from North Dakota State. He battled injuries early in his career, trying to stay healthy now. It's Trey Lance. And just think about what his ceiling in the NFL could be because when you go back to his one collegiate season as a start of the full season, he went undefeated, didn't throw an interception, and ran for over 1,000 yards as well. When you see him hit the field, you see a possible superstar in the making. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Now Lance throwing on second down. And that'll be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Now Lance. Our rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Bubba Bolden who picks it. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. During it. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different colored jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there's a pickup you want on first down. All offenses say, you get me four on first down, we'll take it. How about if you get five? They'll really be happy. Now the third-year man. Here's Kenneth Gainwell. He'll get about four here down to the 43-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Now Ellinger. He'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed. And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, how about that? The defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignment. He comes through and puts him on the ground. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Here's Jake Camarda now. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stole off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves. Maybe we know their defense a little bit. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Wilson's throw caught by Tony. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. Now it's Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. On first and ten, it's game one. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That one is blown up by Jordan Brooks, the linebacker. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Throwing left side, it's complete. And all the way in for a six and eight score. Giovanni Ricci, 51 yards. And the Bengals post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Jets set to take the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And a first and goal coming up here inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run here with Gainwell. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Again, it'll be Gainwell. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal. He's sacked, and multiple players break through the line to get it. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a... Here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So Golden 
field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first and goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit to hold them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. Zach Wilson and the Jets offense about ready to take over once again. And he's had his struggles here early with a couple of interceptions as he'll try to refocus with a first and ten to start this drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Only three there on the screen and second down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And it's going to be batted down. And will go the other way to the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. On first down, it's Ellinger. Here's Johnson with a reception. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. To throw is Ellinger. And it's caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Here's Ellinger. Touchdown! O.J. Howard from three yards out. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Santos able to tack on the extra point and that makes our score 17-0. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And a pretty poor return as he will dive to the ground to give himself up. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Here's Wilson. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. Still going inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Amon Ross St. Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Jets are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. Do you remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football, full half to be played. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
And with a 17-7 lead, maybe they're just looking to get into the locker room. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And this offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're going to try and throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. And intercepted, Wilson's third of the game. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the twin. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw. Finding Miller once more, complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On the give, this is their fullback. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Tariq Woolen with a great play to get him for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They run behind center with Gainwell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Jets will take over. And New York set to take the field. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. 
No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run with Edmonds again. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. He was brought down by Kabu Grugier Hill. Second and nine. From the gun, it's Wilson. Flushed out right. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out fumble. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays. Welcome back now to Denver. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. And he stopped immediately there. To Sean Gibson there on the tackle. Here's second and ten. Straight ahead, it's game well. Dropped at the 35, so able to display his strength, but not much room to operate. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. They'll drop to throw. And the Jets pressure two notches. Down he goes. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And New York set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 19 yards that time for number 19. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Down the right sideline. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Tyler Lockett, 69 yards. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the full ball, and that deficit stays right where it is. So trying to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home which means it had to be good coverage, just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bengals' offense returns to the field. 
Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that one. Put it in bold. Here we go. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. On the return, it's Tony. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So here's Wilson and the Jets. Down 17-13, 70 seconds remaining. Here's Wilson. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Jets. On the Ross St. Brown. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jets use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Elliott good with a PAT. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touch. Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, Williams. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Cincinnati set to take over once again. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You know, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his love a rest. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here we go. This is fourth down. Desperation time. Here's Ellinger. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. From the two now, second and goal. Edmonds is into the end zone for a Jets touchdown. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down, and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied.